one thing you need to understand, and maybe it's the final thing that you need to understand. Haters help us to find our purpose. Our purpose and God's purpose are intertwined. As a matter of fact, we're just a part of God's purpose. It's just the way it works. Many of us have been challenged with the notion of why am I here? Is there something more to my life than what I'm currently experiencing? Listen, you owe it to yourself before you leave this planet to find your purpose in life. This is part four of a four part series entitled How Haters Help. If you haven't watched any of the other videos, pause this video. I'll put a card here to the earlier videos. Look down in the description to see the first three. It'll be well worth it. Also, on every video we have a, a, a devotional guide that you can check out and get more insight onto what I'm talking about in these videos. I think it'll bless your life. It's totally free. You don't have to put any email address in and anything. It's my gift to you. Okay guys, it's day four and a quick recap of Joseph's life. He finds himself sold into slavery, accused of rape, thrown into prison, despite being totally innocent for more than 13 years, even though God had given him a special dream and something to accomplish. Now don't get me wrong, God did show Joseph favor along the way, and he did represent God pretty well, despite his circumstances. After many years of what would have seemed like the greatest detour ever, Joseph finally sees an opportunity to get out of his current situation. He does this huge favor for this influential man who was close to the most powerful man in the country. Seeing the opportunity to get his case heard, Joseph seizes the moment. And please remember me and do me a favor when things go well for you. Mention me to Pharaoh so he might let me out of this place. For I was kidnapped from my homeland the land of the Hebrews, and now I'm here in prison, but I did nothing to deserve it. I don't know about you, but I would have did the exact same thing if I was put in the exact same situation. I would have did the exact same thing. I do something for you, you do something for me. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. But things didn't go Joseph's way. This influential person could have easily went and told the Pharaoh about Joseph's story. But here's the catch. It wasn't God's timing for that to happen. Joseph needed to stay put, watch this, for two more years. Pharaoh simply wasn't ready to hear it because Pharaoh didn't know that he needed Joseph. It simply wasn't the right timing. Fast forward two years when Pharaoh finally needed help and no one else could fix Pharaoh's issues, not even the wisest people in the land. He found himself in a place of desperation and Joseph could fulfill the need and the influential person remembered what Joseph could do because Joseph revealed the dream to him. He told Pharaoh, hey, I know a guy. And Joseph had the gift to interpret dreams that was given to him by God that would ultimately bring God glory. So this is what makes this devotion a little personal to me. And I just want to share with you guys for a little bit. I've been through many situations in my life where I've endured lots of accusation. Sometimes maybe I had a little bit to do with it, but most of the time that I'm talking about, there were haters in my life and I did nothing to deserve the way that they were coming at me. I'm sure some of you can relate to this story. I don't deserve this, I would say. And like Joseph, I would attempt to turn people's perspective about me around. Listen, tell somebody that that's not me. And after extended periods of nothing changing, guess what creeps in? Yep, you guessed it, frustration. And the awesome part of my story and Joseph's story up to this point is it's not finished being written. My haters simply put me in position for my purpose to be realized. So Joseph was displaced, sold into slavery, thrown into prison, all so that he can be in the right place with the right skill set when Pharaoh finally had a dream. Ask yourself a question. Are your haters positioning you to be at the right place at the right time to achieve your purpose? This is the question I find myself asking in this hour. So I run straight to the goal with purpose in every step. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 
I'm still striving to be all that I can be. Yes, I've missed some steps along the way. I've lost sight of purpose when haters have been breathing down my neck. But thank God my story isn't finished being written. And neither is yours. Hey, if you've made it to the end of this video and the end of this series, I really want to know what you thought about it. Please feel free to comment down below. And if you haven't already done so, please like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos. Uh, share the Devo guides. If this is something that's beneficial to you, write it down in the comments below. I'll create more videos and more Devo guides. I really want to create content that helps the church grow. Also, let me know if there's any other topics that you want me to cover in this style of video. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Until next time, remember, don't forget to know God, love others, and show it. I'm out. Peace.